All right, Shalom. Back out once again, preaching the downfall of Babylon the Great. Before we get started, we'll give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, 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 Yeah, double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. So we back out here again. And one thing that we know is our people don't believe the report. They don't believe in what's going on in the world and, and the vibration of the earth. All right, we, we're moving fastly and abruptly into a, a, a digital society. Okay? Hey, uh, bring that Habakkuk 2 out. Good. It's uh, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. This is an appointed time. The time is now. You got it all. But at the end, it shall speak. We at the end. The scripture tells us about the end of the latter days. All right? We're, we're speaking it. All right? Also, Esau got to tell you what he's about to do before you do it. Okay. It says, and not lie, uh -huh. though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And, and the vibration on the earth, what's not tarrying is, is an ultimate prophecy that's coming to pass, which is spoken of is in Revelation, uh, the 13th chapter, all right? And we're, we're subject not to speak on it as much, but we know what we're speaking of if you're in these courts, okay? And Israel say, what? That the vision, he, what? Speak, uh, uh, 12, you got it. Ezekiel <laughs> chapter 12, verse 27. Yeah. Son of man, uh -huh. behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he sealed is for many days to come. And the, and the scripture tells us to, to say unto the house of Israel, we only sit unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So... Joel, hey, it's Joel, man. We're blowing the trumpet amongst you uh, uh, individuals out there, man, especially of the so-called natives, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Negroes. You got it out. A prophesier of the times that are afar off. Oh, that ain't going to come in our lifetime. This is not going to happen within our realm or within when I'm living. Well, guess what? You got it. Therefore, say unto them, uh -huh. Thus said the Lord Power. And this is what we come with. We don't come with our own words. We don't come out of our own belly. We come with the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Got it. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. So the words that he spoke, okay, it's not hastening. No, I, they're hastening now. Okay, they're coming to pass. You got it. Right, say something to you. Let's go on back to that, that uh, vision speaking. Meaning what? You want to see it. This is what you're going to see. So, I mean, it's, it's said, but then it's an action that comes behind it as well. Mm -hmm. Now you're seeing the actions of the decree. You're seeing the decree being uh, put forth now. Okay. The, 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 the manifestation. Yeah. It's being manifested. All right, before you individuals out there that, hey, before you non believers, you're seeing what the apostles been speaking of I, I, since we got on the YouTube, uh, uh, what, 2007? It's like one of the, yeah, yeah. You know what the scriptures are known as commandments as well. Oh, yeah. Not suggestions. So that lets you know whatever, even the word no. The scriptures say no. It's going to play out though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Esau's being rejected. We're seeing that manifest. You know? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
watch his game. But it's going to come down to a little device. That's why it is modern terminology. That word device is now transferred transfer to something. Deal with something being plugged up in a wall or some shit. Something that got batteries in it. Yeah. Bluetooth. Because that's what that device will come down to a device. That can rise. Then you know I said, let them exalt themselves, men. You know I said, the prayer shall not rise the second time. You know, this man trying to pretty much keep his head above war. And that's how it he's gonna do it by way of that. Well, it's, it, it's like it just back up with you. They got something called uh, forever chemicals in yeah. the device. You know, so which which, which you get married with that, all right? You are you are no longer connected with your by she never shot if you're a so-called Negro Latino or Native American. You know, okay, this is the book of Job, chapter five and verse twelve. Mm -hmm. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, yeah. so that they cannot. Excuse me, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. That's right. Even even though they they, they seem to have everything together, all right, with, within themselves, your how a shot is, is is throwing a monkey wrench in, in, in this way, right? He got the prophets out on the street, which is, has been a whole time, you know, speaking of the downfall of the regime that is, all right, but also he's disappointed in the devices. And, and as, as, as brother went into the devices, you know, goes into their to they, uh, uh, warp mind, their diabolical plans. And also, yeah. like you said, it starts in their warp mind, their di diabolical plans which, which, within that summit, but it's physically manifesting. Mm -hmm. They bring that, that thought, them wicked imaginations, and they, they want to, they, listen to the wordplay, they want to bring it into a physical mind. Five verse twelve. He disappointed the device. He's disappointed though. Like a person, you want to be the MVP of the league, but you didn't accomplish yeah, you your feat. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you get to run around. That's what the Most High is telling him, man. See, that's that, that's that overdiet. That's that pride of thy heart has deceived thee. But you see him thinking that you didn't came up with that he that's that that see him that thing thing. That's that's what Job was saying. That's that wicked device that see him. That's that wicked that intention. All. That all. That digital all. That digital all. It's all an effort to maintain rules. Amen. That's all right, huh? That's what the Bible promotes. Control. Right. Control. 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 That frustrated the talkers of the law. Yeah. Hey, hey, when you frustrated, <laughs> you do anything. You know, you 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 write if you in the power, you write off any laws to, to, to you know solidify your rulership. And this is what he's doing. Okay, he's coming out with wows, man, fiery darts. You got it. Hey, and hey, why? How do you frustrate a life by truth? So that's why ultimately it tells you that. Uh, it's gonna he gonna come down with great rap, especially the ones that have testimony of Yahweh Shah. This devil coming down with great rap because of this truth, man. You know? So I said they frustrated the tokens of the law, so don't talk to those different flights, those plans and schemes, these devices. But it's been uh coming to a no avail because of the truth, man. You know, that's just like playing man. And the only button you can throw it to is serpent. But you hey, that's it, man. So that's why he's gonna uh, come down with Gray Ray, he's gonna go to the down, and he's gonna come with uh, military. That's, that's why it. when he it's like he backed up, when he's backed up into a corner yep. by this truth, yep. all right, you know, by the two witnesses, man, it's nothing else you can do to, to sustain your rulership but to come out fight and swing it. That's why Revelation 12 and 12 is in play. Yeah, yeah that, there's nothing more dangerous than a wounded animal. That's in the bag up, you see. So that's Esau. That's it. Like Jeremiah that's 5, it. when he roared, he bagged a cat into a corner, he's going to hiss. He's going to hop in his back. Right. Uh -huh. He's going to take that, yeah, he's going to take that, that stance. That's, that's, that's that defense mechanism. And remember, a cat, right, you know, as such in this, this, this type of this example, we need to look at it. He's up his back and he, he only got so many uh, attributes. One of them is his claws. 
that's where he go to. So called white man blessing of the sword. So then in the corner, that's what he's gonna revert to. That's why the military is gonna become a, a president. Right? Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. Right. In the streets of the Babylon the Great. Right, yeah, uh, Steph Curry. They down 20, Steph Curry gonna start pulling up with threes. That's the scout report. That's it. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> he gonna revert to his, his skill set. That's it. And that's what the so-called white man is being reduced to. You have to eventually fall into his lot and his role. He can't be a diplomatic, peaceful guy because his lot his, his, his part in the story is to be the bloody man, the violent man. That's it. Yeah. It says, they frustrated the tokens of the lives mm -hmm. and make of diviners mad, then turn of wild men backward and make of their knowledge foolish. And the scripture tells you that uh, knowledge of weakness is not even real. Also, he, he gonna he put himself in the car, you know? This devil, he's not gonna prevail. Tell just uh, just for example, the, the Egyptians, the, uh, their uh, magicians, they had two serpents. They still couldn't, you know, yeah. that one serpent overcame yeah. the, the two serpents. So the left hand is strong, is, is weaker than the right. That's why you know this council is prevailing, man. You know the light is it's gonna always overcome the darkness. It that, that's it. it yeah, because it centers around truth. And let's let's say like if I watched the movie with two men. I know the movie and I report it. Nah, he's gonna get killed at the end. No matter what the fuck you say. I'm gonna override you because it's based upon truth. Okay. And, and the prevailing, the scripture tells you that. It, it's gonna prevail in the way until he said it. Alright, and that's the word of y'all about shit never shot. It's prevailing. And it's overcoming that what? That dark. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 39 and verse 21. A man need not to say, what is this? Wherefore is that? So the Lord telling you, you don't need to say this. Go ahead. For he have made all things for their uses. You don't need to say who is what is Esau made for. You don't need to say what the what the sea hip is made for. The Lord has made all things for his uses. Okay? That's a that's a perfect power. Omnipotence, if I'm saying it right. Omnipotence. Oh, yeah, yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. that's what, hey, that's a perfect power. And that's every man. When, yeah. you, when you find an omnipotent power, man, that ain't who you want to fuck with, man. Woo. Regardless of what you own or what you think, omnipotent. Pull it up real quick. You can get the definition for education's sake. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful word, man. Yep. Uh, uh, and, and it's, it's a rock. Pull that omnipotence. Yeah, that was such a shock because you know his power. Like when you know the power of the Lord, you know it's a lot. No, you got it. You know, when you know the power of the Lord, you know how to move. All right, you know what to and what not to do to offend him or what to do to please him, as it says in Baruch. All right, the Lord made, uh, made us know Baruch 4 and 4. All right, somebody get that too. Man, make point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, the Lord is all kind. Prophecy proves that. That's why I said, I'm the Lord, there's nothing like me. Why? The Lord prophesied. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
tip top power there is, man. So that's the most high, omnipotent. And one scripture to show you how omnipotent that he is, is Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? That's omnipotence at its finest. Because he control your own step. Like, like the other brother was saying, made a point. He know what's going to happen unto you. Just say if you live 10 years from now. Just say if you live 30 minutes from now. He know what, you, he, he know what type of headache you're going to have at 1045. You know what I'm saying? September. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk. He, he know what time your motherfucking beard is going to feel it. I'm just saying. That's, that's omnipotent. He know, you know, he know what time your beard is going to feel it. Go ahead, up. Go ahead, up. I got the word uh, omnipotent. You know what I'm saying? You got the word omnipotent in the Greek. All right? It says, it says, he who holds sway over all things. He, he that holds sway over all things, man. You want to add some on that up? change of flat. That ain't going to save you. <laughs> that ain't going to be the stability of thy times. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Good and evil. That's it. Always. That's it. Always. Beautiful. That's true. Always. God, it says, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotence. Hey, the performance is a work. You got, you got to work. You got to show, you know what I'm saying, your proof, man. All right, well, you how about Shimmy Yahweh Shah? You see, it's a knowledge of his wisdom. And, and uh, the scriptures say, hey, uh, wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4. Yeah. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 4. For into a malicious soul, wisdom. Yep, yep. That, you got, you got. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Yeah, exactly. So the opposite of that, wisdom ain't gonna enter into you. Okay? So you're not gonna have the knowledge of what's to come, of the things to come, which is spoken of in Revelation 13. You got it. Nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Because you're subject to sin. And what's that speaking? That's why two-thirds of our people can't get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Alright? Because when you go to Hosea 4 and 6. Matter of fact, somebody get that real quick. Get Hosea for one second. Yeah, too, boy. He got that. It says subject. Yeah. Sin. Right. I mean, under the rules. Yeah. They If they haven't been freed, they have subjection to sin. They haven't been freed by your house, so as it is written, uh, you said no to children. You said that. So we said join Yeah. Uh huh. Like, right, right. So you're you're bound by wickedness because why? Yahweh has not freed you. You haven't been liberated. You haven't been visited by Yahweh, right? What? So what? What's the name of what? Two 
we, we, we represent the new leadership of the kingdom of earth as it is in heaven, as the scripture says. Yeah, we're the Israelites. We let you know our so called Negro Latinos and they are the Israelites. So, and then in that, America is about to be destroyed. So it's best for you to repent because we're in the process of this taking place now. So we just let you know that you are Israelite. That this place is about to go down. The great famine is about to take place. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a society. A society it's a, you know, they're about to get rid of cash. So things are about to take place. And this is the Lord doing it, so this is part of the Lord stretching forth his hand to get his people to repent. Yeah, you see, what, what, what we are here to tell you is, right here, you see this right here? What we are here to tell you is that these people on this side right here, this right side right here, this is the biblical nationality of these people here on the left side. And we are here to wake up with something. Yeah, 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 it, it, this is a little blur, but Judah, so-called Negro, Benjamin, West Indian, Haitians, you know, which, which all of these are the biblical names of the children of Israel, right? And these are the names that they were called here in these modern times. You know, just, just by appearance, you, you seem like you're from the tribe of Judah, all right? So the, the who and the what that you just asked, the who is Yahweh Shai, all right? That's the who that we are out here to preach. That's who, that's who we represent. And the what is right here. That's the what. That's why we are here. Like the brother said, to warn these people on this sign that destruction is coming unto this land in the form of famine, which is a physical famine, a lack of bread and water. You know, it's gonna be soon to come with power outages in this place. You know, uh, this man right here on this sign, you see the image of this man, the people that look like him, which which would be um, who the Bible deems as wicked. That's it, good, the wicked. good. These are the men that's going to come down. So, when you see what we represent is a warning. That's what we represent, a warning. It's like, we represent Matthew 10 and 34. Get that too. All right. Yahweh is coming to bring us forward. Because it's about edification, man. You know, you got to get it. Yeah, that's it. Jeremiah 30 and but that day is great. Right, so this is what we are here to warn you about this day. That, that, that's what that's what the uh, what you asked the who and the what. Right? That's what it's about. That's the what. You know, when you read the scriptures, you ask about the who. Oh, good. So the last for that day is great. So that's what we are here to warn you of that day that's, that's about to approach America. And that main day that that is about to approach America, the scripture. It says, for their nine is like it. It is even the time of taking the set it up. Saw Jacob in the scriptures. Okay, Jacob, right, is our forefather, and later on his name was changed to Israel. You know, I heard, you know, you read the scripture about him, he wrestled with the angel. So, to make the point that I'm telling you is, Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel, which his name was changed to Israel, and he had 12 sons. And out of his 12 sons, the children of his 12 sons came brought forth the Israelites, because his name was changed to Israel. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, I'm just going because I'll stand here asking. Yeah, no, we out here for it. Why? 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 God's will and his plan. So that way, your little children are supposed to be out here listening and learning from, from all this knowledge. I'm sure every last one of y'all got some knowledge. 
So guess what? I'm not, I'm not going to ask you. Sir, sir, well, sir. Well, I'm not, I'm not no, 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 no. It's not a, it's, yeah, it's from the, it's from the be beginning. Honest, be guess guess yeah, be honest, what? Guess what? You're out of order now, baby. I, I am. You're out of order now. I came, I came yeah. from yeah. man. Did I not yeah, come from man? Yeah, so uh, if I didn't so come from man. You got to produce the scripture, though. No, you produce it because you know the scriptures better than me. Go in Genesis. Damn right. Go in Genesis. Revelation came from your way. Revelation 21, verse 3. I heard a great question out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. So, to answer your question, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. First thing you're supposed to do, baby, is to be out of order. You ask me one question, let me answer it, and then all of a sudden you went into a tirade. I don't even know where yeah, that come from. You saying thing. about the children, you saying about the woman yeah. that you lay it, that ain't got nothing to do with the message, that ain't got nothing to do with the woman and the women. Okay, answer Listen my question. That's, that has answer nothing to do with the woman and the women. Make me understand why your wife ain't standing on the side. Why you did? Why you did? Revelation chapter twenty-one. Now, that's the point. Let me proverb. 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 Uh, uh, my mind frame because that's what we're not out here to do. I'm not out here to tell you what I feel because what I feel. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Proverbs chapter one and verse five. Let's, let's trust in the Lord with all thine heart. When it says trust in the Lord with all thine heart, the word heart goes back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. So if you ask me a question about anything, I. Yeah, I can't trust in my own heart, my own opinion, right? I got to answer you according to the scripture. Go ahead. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Because I wouldn't be who I say I was if I sit here and pour out my heart about any question that you ask. I got to answer you with the scripture. Read it again. Huh? Read it again. See, I can't do that. Now, that, that, that's why when we read Revelation. Come on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's why when we read Revelation to me. To you, that's why it says the Lord deals with the tabernacles of the men because a man is going to know that he's not going to have them emotions, he's not going to pour out his heart to answer anything because he knows the wisest of the wise. Well, I want you to read scripture, you know, warfare. Warfare. Oh, I'm yeah, I, want, I, want, I want you to read the scripture because I'm really trying to get understanding. So, since you can't break it down to me, then yeah, tell yeah, me again because I'm gonna keep trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is, is, is there a book in the Bible? Bible, Bible is it called? Is it Judah? Hold on, let her ask first. First of all, what's the apocryphal mean? You know what the word means? I don't. Okay. What does it mean? You mean well, it means hidden, it mean hidden text. Right. So that means it's not readily available for just an average right. person. Right. See, what you just walked up into is a secret council. Right. We're not going to compromise for the outlook or the perspective of the world. Because right. coming up under the a vibration of these so called right now, you have been you centered. Your outlook on things based upon the media, legislation, even down the trends. So we present to you a, fo a, a foreign idea. I, I, I want to believe what you believe. Mama, let, me let me just ask you this one. Well, let me say a quick thing. Uh -huh. Like that little kid right there. If they, it's as insignificant as you might say. If he walk in the room and said, Mama says, that gives him authority. Because he's conveying something from an authority figure. So to answer your question, look, the only thing we're going to do is go into the scripture. Uh -huh. You asking for me, us to know. Ask I want to ask you a question. Do you believe that preaching is preaching, or do you believe that you believe that preaching? Right, that's, that's what you're doing right now. Do you believe that preaching is teaching? It all coincides with itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we, 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 but really, those are those are different offices. The scripture speaks about different offices. When you when you preach, the word, the word, oh, that's right. But that's all the only way I'm gonna ask you. I can't. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, now because don't don't get me wrong. I can sit here and explain something to you for nine days, nine hours, right? But is it right? The only way I'm gonna get the right answer to your question. 
Why end up with what the scriptures? Because guess what? This, this book, any question that you got, this book can answer it. So everything you just asked me, the answer is in here. So I can't lean on my, I wouldn't be a God fearing man and all of this preacher and all what you're saying if I sit here and come out my hall with all type of emotions. No, I can't do that. That's not intelligent. That's not fearing the Lord. Any question you ask, I got to answer you according to thus say of the Lord. Go ahead, bro. First Corinthians chapter 12. And what real quick, your question. That's a good question. I'm gonna be honest. What? It's, it's just different offices. That's all. It's just different offices. It all it, it was that's a game. It's teaching. So what, what, what now my, my answer is I'll let the scripture go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. First Corinthians 12 and 28. And the most high have said some in the church. First apostles, secondarily prophets. Mm -hmm. I right, secondarily prophets. When you, when you brought up the word preacher, do you know what that word go back to? All right. That word actually goes, or the, or the etymology of that word goes back to being a prophet. When you preach, you're prophesying. Do you know the, the meaning of prophet or the word prophet or prophecy? Which is the act of being a prophet. Do you know what that means? What, what that means? No. It is a gift from God, but well, I'm just gonna answer, you know, we ain't gotta we ain't gotta go through all that. The answer is to say before. What? To say before. That's what the word you're projecting. You're projecting the like future. A meteorologist, they tell you it's gonna rain. Is that not speaking over someone's life? Don't the don't don't the meteorologist speak over our life? Look, man. When they tell you it's a percent chance of rain. When you was in school, it's right? When you was in school. Can I say that? Listen, man. When you was in school, you was in school uh -huh. the teacher told you two plus two. You didn't jump up and say, no. So you came to our class. There's a primitive, you go to McDonald's. You can't go in there and say, oh, where's the chicken? What the flame broad? Where are the hot wings in here? You got it. We, we present to you. You come to our arena. So he's giving you the answer. You can receive it or not. Oh, give it to your house. All right? If, uh, if you can receive it. See, but this is another thing, too, that can somehow escape the reasoning of men. We got to help here to bring everybody in. When you read the Bible, understanding the Lord is dealing with an elect, certain spirits that qualify to come into his presence. You got to remember the Lord is the king of kings. The king don't compromise. Case in point, let's say if I'm a big R&B singer, I'm not going to bring every woman that's crying for me, shout for me backstage. I'm going I'm to pick the ones I want. That's the signet of a, a token of a king. So you, you have the authority to pick and choose. Right, we are, that's exactly what it is. The Lord got the authority to pick and choose. That's what we, we're a symbol of that. Yeah, yeah, he didn't say You know that we're not out here trying to flag people down. It's an intimate setting here. All right, come on. Revelation, I'm just like, St. Matthew 13. That's why John the Baptist said, bring forth meat. I mean, fruit that's meat for repentance. Well, St. Matthew 13 and 9. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. Right, and physically we all have ears, but these ears are somebody to understand. So if you have understanding, good for you. What? And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Right, the Bible is not as of an open and shut case as one might think. This is a mystery. See? And we can stand out here until we go in the face and break it down in you. But if it don't register with your spirit, then that means the Lord should then open you up to the mystery. That's all what it is, right? It says, but unto them. And what's the part of the mystery? A famine is getting ready to settle in America. That's right. This second right. Ezra 16 chapter. Go ahead, But unto them, it is not given. Right. So the Lord is not dealing with everybody. Right? Which that was an irresponsible approach. That was uh, forged by Christianity and the artisans of the world. They had to think that the Lord is dealing with everybody. That's not the case. The Lord is only dealing with the wise amongst the people. Give me that too. So, yeah, you got something? Uh, yeah, come on. Start at the 18th verse. Right. Second Ezra 16 and 18. Yeah, because the sister asked the question what we represent. We represent the downfall of America. Give me Ezekiel, the second chapter, real quick. Because the Bible is not this kind, friendly, call to bring everybody together. You know, you, you hug it. No, this is if not one of the most bloodiest books ever published, which, uh, which details the bleak and disturbing future of America. Which if you was the actual preacher was American in the Bible, he would say no. Why? Because his eyes were blinded from the mysteries. Come on. 
This is Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse eighteen. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. Right, that's what about to come to America. That's what we represent. Y'all got the middle son? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what's to come to America, man. Now, I'm gonna say something. This book is a living document. This is not old writing suspended in time, never to be ushered in, uh, uttered again. The book forecasts and projects the fate and destiny of America. Go ahead, Bob. The beginning of famine. Right, there's a famine that's about to rest and settle on the planet Earth. Unbeknownst to the people on this side who is preoccupied with partying and BS, they are not privy to the secrets of your house and your house. The fact that the Lord has now sprung into action. See, because our people, they don't understand this. First and foremost, you got to know who your enemies are. You got to know that the man that's governed over you is your enemy. That's not a hard saying either. That's not a parable. All you got to do is tell you, Google 12 years of slave. Go ahead, huh? It says, a great death. It says, the beginning of war, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evil, what shall I do when these evil shall come? Right, that's the mindset you've got to develop, knowing that the Lord has, has, uh, has pretty much sanctioned and devised evil against the so-called white man and his kingdom. You see, this is a mystery. This is not for everybody to know. I mean, y'all cool with you to well, right? Well, you know, good. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead with your question. Okay, I'm just going to Speak up just a little bit. Okay. I was just going to ask, could you share with my mother why you're calling him, why you're not calling him Jesus? Yeah. Right. You didn't want to yeah. say it, did you? I did. I did. Let's see. Okay. Uh, well, we can ask you to the... Uh, you know, and if somebody, if somebody got a 16 yeah, 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 right here. Come on, you got to make a point. Just to edify you on it. Yeah. Right, you got that? Oh, this is, yeah. And if uh, somebody can pull it up to the information. I mean, simply put, the letter J, did that come out to uh, mid-1500? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we got an actual Bible right here. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, right, this is 1611. This, uh, this, well, you 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 but close. Don't get me wrong, wrong, but hold up. You asked about the about the apocrypha early, right? And just so happened, the apocrypha, right, is one of the original books. Well, when I said books, but it's of the scriptures. And the original 1611 has the apocrypha already in it, right? Which we got, which we have. So go ahead, bro. Now, I'm sorry, you got to go. This is not just going back to the Hebrew. This is the prologue of Sarah. Yeah, yeah. the end of the right. I'll jump down. Yeah, I also know the Ecclesiastes. It says, um, uh, and they sent me a text. It says, for the same things other than Hebrew and translated into a. This is told. Don't know. That's the fowls of the air. Yeah, man. Don't know. You saw the Hebrew fowls of the air. Right. Come away and take away your understanding. That's right. Now, he said, for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated in an other tongue have not the same force in them. Right, so the name of the Lord couldn't have been with a J because the letter J wasn't even, it, it wasn't derived. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And it's, it's the only God's son is Yahweh Sa. That's one of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. This is the picture of him according to the scriptures that you see right here and a lot of other scriptures. This is how he would look, just like you. Same complexion you in. Go ahead, read The letter J. Now, this, this concerning your answer, I mean, your, your question. And the brother just read to you that words that's pronounced outside of the original text, which is the Hebrew in this sense, to have lesser power. And that's the same force. That's it. And that's equivalent to. No disrespect. What's your name? Angelique. Angelique. If somebody say, uh, uh, and, you're not going to respond to that. That's true. That, that was name. left for you to consider. Right. That's not your name. So the Lord, a great king, you just can't call him what you want to call him. Which but you call him, okay, I give you props for what you said. You said, uh, yeah, you said Yahweh. Right? I give you props for that. Even though that's not correct, I give you props for even not being in the, in, in the modern sense of what they call our Lord. You see what I'm saying? But, but go ahead, we're gonna read this one. Uh, the letter J was invented in 1524. So it said the letter J was invented in what? 1524. 1524. So think about how long before 
1524, our Lord walked the earth before he hung himself on the cross. Do you get what I'm saying? Read it again. It says the letter J wasn't invented but until... So the letter J didn't come about until... 1524. 1524, man. That, that wasn't that long ago. You see what I'm saying? And so that's why we don't call him that J word. It, it, that, really, when you think about it, you use common sense, Lord willing to be blessed. That couldn't have been his name. We got the text right here. Read it again. It says, uh, the letter J wasn't invented until 1524. So our Lord uh, uh, lived throughout his ministry and hung himself upon the cross 2,000 and something odd years ago. Not just 2,000, but 2,000 some odd years ago. So 15 what? 1524. Well, how long that's been? How many, how many uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So his name couldn't have been there. Right. It was a psychological slack and over time. Because in order for you to hit uh, uh, pretty much men that relationship with your power, you had to call on his name. Matter of fact, get that in Psalm 145, is it? Get that real quick. Because again, this is the starting point. You got to realize who you are. Case in point, you find out, you got to report that you had a, uh, you had an inheritance. What's the first thing you got to do to claim that inheritance? You, you got to produce your ID. Yeah. You got to produce your ID. Yeah. If, if somebody told you, your grandma said, you got you got land in, in open locker. Yeah, in Florida. <laughs> yes. yes. To, to prove who you say you are. Right. You got to prove who you are. To claim an inheritance. Yeah. To claim something, you have to produce who you are. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm simplifying it for you. Yeah. That's not deep. Let's say like if you had some, it was a, a lost and found or whatever. You have to claim who you are. You to, the first thing I'm say, let me see your ID. So that's the same with the people on this side. You have to align yourself with the Israelites first. That's the first step on this road to recovery. Come on, you no, I'm just point. backing up what you said. Simply, just to simplify it a little more. If you want to cash a check, somebody write you a check. You got to produce your ID. You got to produce your ID. That's the only way you're going to. Which identification yeah. is critical in the scriptures. Right. Yeah. Your pastor never told you that. Because yeah. in his leisure time, he eating crabs and lobsters. He's playing, yeah. on, playing yeah. on your emotions. Yeah. See, all the questions that you came with and the way you came, oh, your pastor would have played on you. He ain't gonna go into no scripture. He gonna he gonna tell you what what he think out of his belly to, to, to mislead you and, and guide you into putting some money in that pot. We coming straight out of what the word of the Lord say. If you do a great breakdown, one or two words, one or two history, you know, to prove what we're, what the Lord wants you to say through the answer, through the question that you ask. Come on, come on, this is the book of Psalm one forty five. They tell you that you the Lord is not unto all them. The Lord is not unto all them, or near unto all them, but they call upon him. They call upon him, but to all that call upon him in truth. In Ooh. truth. You can't call upon the Lord with you. It has to be in truth. See? So that's why it's critical to know the names of the Lord, right? And you have to trust in that report. Else you're not gonna for example, Noah. You know the story of Noah, right? Noah was brief that the Lord was going to send a flood. He had to believe that report. What, what provoked him to go out and teach that idea because he believed. That's all. all right, come on. Uh, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. We have to send it up to heaven. What he said. We have gathered the wind in this. We have bound the waters in the ground. Yeah, what? We have established all the ends of the earth. What? what is his name? What is his name? What? And what is his son's name? And what is his son's name? So if that was an opening circuit, if his name was God and Jesus, why is that in scripture? Why is it a question? What is his name? Because the name of the Lord is a mystery, man. Okay, so a very powerful name. Okay, this is my last question. Okay, what? Is there only one name? Yeah. Only one. 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 Can you tell me that? Okay, we're going to tell you. We're going to tell you. We're going to read this scripture first. I want y'all to know I believe y'all. And if I've asked and said anything to offend you. No, 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 no,
We're not thriving off emotion. I understand. We're going we to read this and we're going to get it to you. Go ahead. 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 I got some nicknames, I got some titles though. Titles. Lord have titles. Titles, but it has what, 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 what's Come on. Go ahead. Now. Acts chapter it's 4, over. verse 12. Neither is there any salvation in any other, Whoa. but there is none other name. See, neither is there any salvation in any in the other, any other way. It says what? For there is none other name under name. heaven. So any other name, there's no salvation. Because when you when you go into the name of the true name of our Lord. Which, which we just read you, the J was not created until a certain day. Now when you do, now, yep, exactly. So, so when you do your, your research, you go back 2,000 odd years ago, he, he had a Hebrew name, right? So his Hebrew name was Yah Hawashai, all right? Yah meaning he, Hawashai means delivers or saves, all right? That's that's his name, was it? That J word. So this is why, why I asked him. It's telling us, read that, you know. This is why I asked telling us that. It says, given. Read it from the top. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. So it says, neither is there salvation in any other because his name is a Norman Omen. Norman Omen means name prediction. So that's why his name is Yah Hawashi. His name means salvation. Yah, once again, meaning he. Hawashi means deliverance or saves. That's how you pronounce it. Your It says, neither is there salvation in any other. Good. For there is none Good. other name. There's under none heaven. other name. So Yahweh, Yahshua, the J word, God. There's no salvation in those names. Once again, that name simply means salvation. So that, that should show you right there. Go ahead. It says, under heaven given among men. Under heaven. What's under heaven on this earth? Among men, when it says among men, that means number one men, women, and children. Go ahead. Whereby we must be saved. Whereby we must be saved. What that mean? Once again, his name is a Norman Omen, which means name prediction, which means it was foretold from the beginning of the foundation of everything that this guy was going to be the Savior. His name, the real name of him, shows us that he was going to be the Savior. Y'all have a shot. So that's how you pronounce it. Your Hawasha. What it means again? What, that's the who and the what. The who is your Hawasha, and the what is he delivered. And can I say too? Yeah. It's important. It's critical to know the Hebrew. Okay. 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 This is Zephaniah chapter three, verse nine. For then will I turn to the people of pure language. So right. the Lord in His mercy, in an act of mercy, He will return His pure language to us. This says somebody mad at you. Can't. He don't tell you what's the problem. Then you can never make things right. Okay. But this says, I cut my number, I won't let you I, I block. You can't never settle things right. But the Lord, in the act of mercy, He opened the line of communication to us by giving us the Hebrew language. See, read that again. Zephaniah 3 and 9. Then will I turn to the people of pure language. Of pure language. Of pure language. Hebrew language. Go ahead. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord. See, you can't call upon the name of the Lord in any language. You can't call upon the name of the Lord in English. Yeah, this is a low level vibration of tone that the so called white man is. This is why we read uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. I believe it is Jeremiah 6 and 16. You got this one? All of them said that the root was a captivity. They said Jeremiah 6 and Yeah, somebody get that Jeremiah 6 and 16. 16 as well. Yep, because we've been restored. Really, when you go to that word restored, go back to that Hebrew word. So, uh, uh, what is it? Sawah? It means to return. So, what happened, just to give you a vivid illustration, right? The Lord, He compared Israel as a woman. That's in the book of Jeremiah in the sixth chapter. They had a nasty breakup, man. And the Lord cast us out of His presence. And in that event, we succumbed. Uh, that's why you can celebrate Christmas. I'm just saying, in, in general, right? Our people as a whole, you have. You have. I mean, what I'm saying, it don't matter, but the results, right? So that was a, a, a token of the Lord casting us out of sight. Because for an example, we used to ask the average person, what high holy day we in right now, according to the body? We're in the middle of a high holy day right now. These people don't know that. They're just wondering aimlessly, battling the Christmas. We're in the, we're in the uh, uh, 
the, the, the memorial of, of the blowing of the trumpet. We're about to go into the uh, Day of Atonement. And after that, we're going to have the Feast of Tabernacles. And guess what? Hey, the Feast of Tabernacles is falling on the uh, Labor Day. That's how all the holidays of the world fall on all these pagan holidays. Yeah, come on. Huh? God. Jeremiah 6 and 16. God said, the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see. And that's what y'all are doing. Y'all standing in the ways. It's equivalent to asking someone, where is CVS? Right? And that person had to give you directions. That's why we read Proverbs the first time. It speaks about the instructions of the Father. Go ahead, huh? Hey, in that event, right? If you ask me, well, CVS, and I say, take a block, oh, take a right. And you can't turn around and say, nope. You can't do that. Because you had the mercy of us. You asked us to do that way. Well, thus said the Lord, how about you now shot? Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old path. Ask for the old path. All right, which goes back to the language, all that. So you can't incorporate or merit modern terminology with the ancient of days. You have to play according to his rules. So in order for you to come into his courts, you got to speak his language. Right? Come on. He said, as for the old paths, and, and where, it's like, as for the old paths, where is the good way? And walk therein. And walk therein. So once you get the directions, you got to follow them. You got to walk in it. Go ahead. It says, and you shall find rest. And these are mysteries that's been hidden from ages. I'm going to say this. We the prophets, man. All right? Go ahead. It says, and ye shall find rest for your soul. Right, because our people, they're not comfortable. Hey, before this example, you can see like Lil Wayne and all these guys. They all suffer from the same demons. And that's depression. So out of all the money and all that, they pop and kill. So up here is the rest of your house. Go ahead, up. But they said we would not walk their end. And that's concerning the rebellion of the people on this side. Rebellious house, Israel. Once you give them the instructions, they buck up against them. All right, so come on. Now, this is Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. So I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff neck. Right, people. because the Lord is not going to come off his throne and speak to you. When you consider a king, he have heralds. He send, just like the power company. The executive of Alabama Power don't show up at your door. He sent another guy to disrupt the service. Just a regular guy. Terrell. He got the, <laughs> he got the clipboard. He ready to cut your shit out. And he's just a representative. That's us. We the representatives. So we the pipeline that uh, from the heavens, it pretty much convey the will of your how about some outside. That's why you have to be spiritual. Because if you just look at us through the naked eye and look at us as regular men, what's going to happen? We're going to storm. So this is a regular guy. That's out of the Lord. That's the snare of the Lord. But, right. but, hey, you think the people believe Noah was Noah? They didn't think Noah was Noah. They thought he was a regular guy. If they would have knew Noah the way we know him, they would have believed. You know, you knew Noah. You knew Noah, oh, that's it. You knew Noah like we know. No, it's just like us. He was a regular guy, and they didn't believe him. That's why our people, if somebody was out here with a suit and tie, they'll listen. Right. It's uh, Amos chapter three, verse seven. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets. Yeah, read that again. He said, surely the Lord power will do nothing. Right, the Lord got to come off his throne. He's not going to do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants And that legacy goes all the way back to the Lord. Right, so the prophets suddenly popped up on America. Which, by the way, America is the most wickedest kingdom ever erected. I dare you to challenge me on that. You got the LGBTQ, see, I still, bro. You got people that's in rebellion to the ordinance of your house. So the Lord justified in bringing the Trump. That's why the famine creeping up. All right, come on. That's it? All right, come on. Okay, it says, So I knew that they would not hear me because of the stiff-necked people. Right, the stiff-necked people. Israel, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, is stiff-necked. Well, but in the land of their captivity. And what's the land of your captivity? America. It's well documented, but not you. Brought over here on slave ship. He looked like a black husband. This is man gangster. Read that again. It says, but in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. Right, and that's where we come in. We remember the fact that we were Israelites. We 
don't associate ourselves with being Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, so-called Cubans, Haitians, Jamaicans. No, we align ourselves, we remember ourselves that we are the people of the most high. Go ahead. And shall know that I, the Lord, are their power. Right. The Lord is our power. Go ahead. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. See, a heart which goes into your mind and brother went into and ears to hear. To hear means to discern. When you hear this word, they register with you. All right, come on. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And that's what you're witnessing. You're witnessing the praising of the Lord. And because Christianity distorted that. You thought praising the Lord was a praise team. Symbols and organs and then somebody come dancing in out of the corner of your eye. Here come the collection plate. No, the praise the Lord is to go into the scriptures and make sense of the hidden things. To expound on the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead, I. And think upon my name. And think upon my name. Proving that this is a wise counsel. It has nothing to do with emotions. We, we dealing with the reasoning of men of them. Like what? Yeah, and you would have never got those answers. <laughs> if you would have went oh, to, no. to them guys that oh, the pastor would have sorted you out. Yes. Yeah. So first thing, man, what do you believe in? Yeah, what do you believe in? We ain't did that that one time. Okay, what you about to say? You have to defend it. Oh, that's our job. Because when a person seeking understanding, you know, ain't no answer. What? Ain't gonna tell them what they gonna have. You looking for direction? You looking for directions? I can't get mad at you. Only thing I can give you is the blueprint. Right. But you, that's why that word faith is emphasized in the scripture. You got to believe the report. That's true. Everything that's what it is. You, that word is. faith was was taken out of its context. That's true. Oh, we found out that faith is to believe these strange teachers. Come on. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 7. By faith, Noah being warned of the Most High. Brother, explain to you about Noah. Like, Noah was warned, but like when you asked about the, the, the teaching and the prophet, I gave you the, 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 uh, the definition of what a preacher was, which was a prophet, which is to say before, you say to say over somebody's life, I understand where you're coming from, but but the direct uh, definition of to be a prophet is to say before, meaning to tell an event before it happens. So read what read what you got. It says by faith, Noah being warned. So remember, it starts out with faith, like the other brother said. It starts out with your faith. Do you believe? Right. You had two real quick. You had two blind men, physically blind men, that came to our Lord and asked for them. Right. It's a heavy story. Ask for. His, his uh, uh, mercy on him restoring their physical sight back. What did he ask them? You believe. It ain't about what I can do. It's about do you believe I can do it. Right? And eventually, according to your, everybody asked him, according unto your faith, be, unto, be it unto you. So eventually their sight was restored. Why? Because they had faith. If we read it. But they didn't have faith in it. Like what Elder Brother was telling you, they didn't have faith in the time of Noah. You know, they didn't believe the, 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 the things that, that he had received, which was foresight, about something that had never happened. I can see she has a, you have yeah. familiar with these teachers. Yeah, right? okay. yeah. Go ahead. You follow the great news, Okay. Go ahead. It says, by faith, Noah being one of the most high, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. Right, so you see where it's critical to believe faith in developed salvation. What? By the which he condemned the world. And again, you can throw that word faith around loosely, but what does it really mean? It means to believe the report. What? And became heir. Of the what? And became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. It is by faith, man. Because the Lord saved the best for last. Remember the account when your house shot turned the water to wine? Y'all brothers remember that, right? What, what did the host of the wedding say? You saved the best for last. That's why when you look at our people, you had uh, these different movements, the so-called Black, Black Panthers, and the Chicano movement of the 60s and 70s with the Latinos, and, right, these different movements. But the Lord saved the best for last when he would raise up the poor, right, the insignificant. At face value, we don't look like we are scholars of the Bible. That's, that's how the Lord did it. And, it. and it cancels out that carnality. Because our people, they want to see a big school, we want to see crypto dollars, crypto dollars, pull up with a private jet. Now the Lord thrust us out here in the front lines on the streets, which, by the way, there's a camp set up in every major city throughout America, man, Babylon the Great. 
throughout the world. That's a token that your by smell size we're ready to visit the earth. All right, come on. This is uh, the book of 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth us the apostles last. Well, the Lord preserved us for last. See, well. As you were appointed to death, mm -hmm. for we are made a spectacle right. unto the world. Right, when you the word spectacle, it means to see. If we are spectacle, the people look at us, they ride by, they marvel at us. They inquire of us. That's the work of the Lord. Furthermore, you got cameras, right? That's the biblical prophecy being fulfilled. Go ahead. So we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels right. and to men. See that? And that's the way the Lord told us to do it. To set the, the, the apostles up last, which the apostle means to be sent away. So all the men that you see faithfully and sincerely conveying and forward and advancing the gospel of Yahweh Shai, the Lord sent us. And it was a splash with it. That's why you don't feel like for an example, the ceiling with our people, you 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 teaching uh, Islam, but you got on a suit and tie. Monkey suit. Yeah, you look like a so-called white man. So that's why the Lord sent us forth an ancient guard. They wore these in the ancient world, man. Yeah. The fringes. It's a sim it's, it's uh, a symbolism of the priests of the Lord, man. Yeah. And the prophets of Yahweh by Shai. Is it over there? Anybody got something? I got something. Oh yeah, come on. This song will fly, we come around. Uh, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, brethren, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right, that's why we are here on the street. Anything can happen to us. You got enemies. These guys that come on the cover board, they hate us. They can drop you, you know, your location, they find out where you at, they can barrel their car into the camp. All right, go ahead. Holy. All right, all right. Have a good one. All right, all right. go ahead. Holy, acceptable unto your house. Oh, what's the key word though? Holy. The word holy goes back into separate, man. So we have been set apart from the people. And the way our very presentation is a testament of that. Hey, because you have certain people that build their foundation off of scripture, but the uh, approach is as the world. You know? So you can't discern the difference. You don't know if it's just a Christian. See that, but the Lord made a, a hard difference in, in his testimony versus the world's view. That's why it's a missile sign up. You saw somebody teaching the Bible in such a violent display. Come on. Huh? Acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reason. Sir. Right, so this is what's acceptable to Yahweh by Shemel. All right, this is what's pleasing in his sight. To stand for his word, to stand stiffly and set. You know, a level of steadfastness. That was an example why. That was an example why. Because that's where you're going to get the real, the real truth. Man. Out of the spectacles that the Lord put out. Not in these churches, in these harlot houses. And she got more answers in five minutes than she got in her whole life oh, being in church. It's no coincidence the Lord wants Jake to have it now. And he's waking up in the life now. We we'll out on the corners now. Yep, this man readily available now. What's that proverb the first time? Wisdom cries without in the streets. That's equivalent to gold, right? Real, right, really gold or treasures, you have to seek it out, search it out. It's somewhere in somebody's stash house. It's in a vault. But in this case, the Lord got it laid out in the streets. Yeah, exactly. So the Lord got this, this truth out of him, man. But you got to have an eye for it. That, oh, that's why we went into that, that taste. Right, you go into that taste, it goes into discernment. You gotta have taste, because I can lay something that's valuable before you. If you ain't got taste, then you're gonna overlook it. I said, oh, I don't want some F-401. Come on. Hey, I want <laughs> Yeah, because you ain't got taste, man. Hey, if I may add, brother, she, she began by saying she was single. Y'all heard that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Isaiah 401 gonna look like all oh, women. Right, like, that was an English way with all of that. Yeah. That was, like, yeah, it was kind of wrong. Where were you going with that? Like, that, that That's the first thing she threw that out. Yeah. She, shot, she shot a shot at everybody. I ain't, I ain't feel that, yeah. that breeze. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, but turn around. You, you went to tie your suit in the air with her. It ain't hit nobody. It ain't hit nobody. It's a brother that's Lord, like, kept it from that's gonna be a normal thing, man. Yeah. 
because the Lord narrowing it down now. Like you really ain't got no other options but to come to the truth. That's how, and the Lord beginning to do that. The Lord beginning to take away the luxuries of the people. Right. Everything being taken away. Your options being taken away. The Lord narrowing things down now. You're going to be forced to come to the truth. And at that point, the Lord is going to do this, this right here. That's a thumb, you know. That's a thumb. <laughs> You said name is Babylon. Sick man. You got some more, Bill? You can go back to the second edge of 16. It's like, yeah, go ahead. This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 2. For he said, I heard thee at a time of suffering. Right, you can't just run up on your house by some hours, right? Right? You had to set an appointment, so to speak. The Lord had to set an appointment for you. That's why the scripture said, I heard it being a time except Because our people have been crying out for some form of relief ever since they came over to the soils of America. Right? Go ahead. For well, I heard being a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured me. Right, so there's a day of salvation. Or well, like the brother came up uh, who was speaking before camp. He was like, yeah, man, I'm saved in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, well, you mean to tell me you, you're assured to make a couple of people that get hit? You know? No, it's a time of salvation, man, which that salvation is readily available or, or you know, accessible, if you will, in a time of destruction. That's why Yahweh Shai made a country effort to mention Noah, man. And he compared it. He, he, he outlined the parallels of that time with this time. That was the time of salvation. Why? Because the Lord had sanctioned destruction. Read that one more time. God, he says, For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Mm -hmm. Behold, now is the accepted time. Right, so that's the reserved time where the Lord accepted us. This is the time. And this this is channel, all right? You got to take proper channel. You can't come up against. Hey, another thing, the order that the Lord set up, you can't come up against that. You kicking against the tricks with that. You see that? Yeah, come on. <laughs> it says. That's like, you better think, motherfucker. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Behold, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the acceptable time. Everything is in the ordinance with your how about some outside. There's an order. Hey, even when you consider the seasons, the seasons don't abruptly interrupt. You know, they all set up in their, in their ordinance, man. Hey, even when you consider the rise and fall of the kingdom, as much as Israel wanted to get it, when Yahweh said, ask the first time, it's not for you to know the time to see it. Because why? The Lord set it up in this order. Well, behold, now is the accepted time. Right. Behold, now is the day of salvation. This is the day of salvation, man. And the only way you can come into that is you have to come through the gate. That's why scripture speaks about uh, those who can prophesied the gate, they hate him, they avoid him, they were him at the gate. So the gate is what? This the entry, all right, this the entry to the uh, commonwealth of Israel. You got to come through here. All right, come on, yes. Right, come on. So Isaiah 49, verse 8, it say the Lord, how about you, my child, in an acceptable time, have I heard you? Right, in an acceptable time have I heard you. Where you ain't from? Okay, come on. It says, and in the day of salvation. See, and in the day of salvation. Man. That day, it narrows it down to an appointed time. Come on. And I will preserve thee. See, and I will what? Preserve thee. And I will preserve thee. How are we preserved? Give me Proverbs the second chapter. Hey, because you have people with resources there on the planet Earth, right? They have influence. You consider these celebrities and stars. But answer me this. Do they control the food supply? No, they don't. No, 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 no. They don't control the power. Hey, when the Lord cut the power off, you're going to have these guys who are perceived to be well off. They're going to be on the phone on home too. Waiting to see the power coming. All right, come on. This is Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 10. When wisdom enters into thine heart. Right, and wisdom have to enter. You have to be willing to open up, have an open mind to let wisdom enter in. You can't fight against 
wisdom. Go ahead. And knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. The other thing is that to be pleasant to you. You can't become offended in your house shop. What's that? Matthew 11 chapter. Because the word, when you really break it down in its veracity, this raw, man. This raw. It goes into a vivid illustration. Oh, it, hey, the Lord even went into uh, Israel's punishment. It was vivid, man. The Lord said, He's going to raise up your enemies and they ain't going to have uh, a compassion for your young or your old. Right? So you got to be willing to digest those things. As much as a soft spot you have for your grandma, well, once you get into the Levitical, uh, uh, the dietary laws, right? Then at that point, you got to say, oh, no, I'm not going off. Okay. It says, discretion shall preserve thee. Read that again. Discretion shall preserve thee. Shall preserve thee. That word preserve is really uh, 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 eye-opening word. You know? Preserve, that means you're going to be kept. Uh, yeah, how was I said that? I have not lost none. Who thou has given it. Preserve you from what? Go ahead. Understanding shall keep thee mm -hmm. to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. See, from the way of the evil man. Oh, there you go, right here, man. Because you thought you thought it was the devil. Like with the Triton, the tradition sense. You scared to go to sleep. You know, what they call it, that sleep paralysis? Where? It says, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speak of forward things. Yeah, the man that speak of forward things. They're dealing with the so-called white man. His legislation, that word forward goes into perversion. Yeah? Twisted. That's why you had an LGBTQ. And certain laws and legislation set up to protect homos. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if y'all them devils, they suspended the channel, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking devil, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says... Uh, oh, no, no, that's it right there. All right, come on. Uh, nigga, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 8. It says, thus says the Lord out in acceptable time have I heard. See that? See that? Ooh. Hope y'all get the camera on that. See that? It's too big to fucking line back on that. Press lift it. Mother let that go to Cambridge. And then hold it hand. Don't worry, don't worry about Think it. about it. Think about that. There was a time, right, where you know that 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 activity, it was in the closet. Right? Now they open, man. Hey, think about it. Man, hey, you you hardly find oh, 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 oh. Well, Hey, yeah, we don't we don't hold hands with you hold hands with your own lady. I can't speak to everybody. That. I don't hold hands with her. If, if she grabs man, I, I, I do, you know. We don't, don't they ain't trying to hold hands with your own lady. So you gotta be out there to hold hands with a guy and publicly pronounce your love, man, for this nigga, man. That's, That's under the watch of the so-called white man. Come on. Huh? That's a place real quick. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 3 and 9, they shoot like the shoe of their counting, just witness against them. Right, your very countenance testifies against you. Go ahead. And they declare their sin as Sodom. See, they declare their sin as Sodom. Let's show the scripture spot on, man. Scripture's accurate in its assessment of the folly of Esau and the so-called white man here in Babylon the Great. Go ahead. Huh? It says they hide it not. Yeah, they don't hide it. This motherfucker pressing down the street. Hold their hand. But who gives them the jurisdiction to do that? Because, hey, uh, in the, around the world, they, they uh, frown upon that in certain places, man. You can put to death for that. Or it was one broad and um, where was she from? I want to say, damn, I, I, it was in the Middle East. But they found out she had a goddamn social media, Instagram. They gave her 45 years or something. <laughs> Down in Jamaica, all these Caribbean islands. Man, I'm trying to tell you. Remember, I don't know if brother remember the video went viral. That they burned it, they, they, they beat they the motherfucker and they burnt them. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Well, they don't play that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. the rebellion is like The rebellion is, is at the forefront in America, man. Under Esau, so called white man. That's why he's known as the adversary, Satan, man. He, he's a symbol of resistance, of order. Come on, huh? 
Of the Bible. Case in point, can you go get a pork chop sandwich right now? Yes, you can. Because the wicked is in power. If the righteous was in power, give me that proverb 29 chop. If the righteous was in power, lobster would be off basis. You won't have access to pork, shrimp, shrimp, catfish. Those are those are detestable in the sight of your how about some outside. Now your pork chop eating pastor. They got a pinky ring, a crab leg. He gonna soften the blow. He gonna tell you it's okay. You can eat it. All right, go ahead. Proverbs twenty nine and two. He said, "I've been listening." All right, go ahead. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. See, when the righteous are in authority, the people. In the key word, there's authority. See, when you get the full understanding of the Bible, what you find out is it promotes rulership. Man, you got them slaves, son. Get this, that's it right there. God, this is a fixture in history. Coming over here on slave ships, you serve the punishment for coming up against your power. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Those of you get pulled over by the cops and get shot. And you wonder why them so-called white people hate you, man. Look at that, oh, that's not an old picture, man. See a matlock on that motherfucker. Give it a kid, man. Maybe Andy Griffith. That's right in here. Hey, that's friend, that's in there. Uh, uh, Matlock is Andy Griffith. Yeah, that's maybe. Yeah, that's Andy Griffith. That's Andy Griffith. But the reason why they hate you so much, that goes back to prophecy. Man. That's it. Right? We can give you the answers to that. We broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of your how about you now shot. The Lord, the great king, he greatly to be feared. That's why the Lord, oh, remember when your house was on the cross? And they said, let his blood be on our hand. Yeah, that's it. On our hand and on our that's children's it. hand. The Lord obliged. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He sent you to America, Babylon the Great, and yeah. cargo slave ships. Thou hast said. Thou hast said, yeah. And the Lord uh, laid that heavy yoke of uh, uh, oppression on us. Man. But now we're in the time of the Lord's favor. The Lord raised up the house of David to bring the good news and glad tidings, man. That your warfare is accomplished. Somebody hold that in Isaiah the 40th chapter. The Lord is now beginning to show favor on you, man. But you have to hearken. You have to hearken. Come on. It says, what? Let me start from the top. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Right. So we know the righteous ain't in authority. You might say, well, hold up. Lil Wayne rejoice. Nope. We, we, uh, do the research on it. And that's weird. I was looking to see it. I thought it was a mustache. You got a Corolla. But um, yeah, Lil Wayne, right? When you when upon further examination, he suffers from depression. Like all of our people in those high and lofty positions with somewhat status in this world. They're not comforted. They're miserable. Yeah. I'm up with being plagued, man. And they're miserable. Like what they're saying is, damn, I, I ain't know how good I had it when I was broke. But yeah, that's what they're saying. See what I'm saying? Now they got all, all the, and they, and they got to do all type of despicable things in the sight of abominations in the sight of the Lord. The casting count. That's it, to keep that status. Right, yeah. You got it all. He's rich as Hey, see? Yeah. Damn, the Lord <laughs> said he, he, he would give riches and would not add unto it. Proper. Yeah, y'all can find it. 
All right, come on. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right, and that's going into, we got the new side? Let's get that. Because according to biblical prophecy, the fate of America is to be taken down in the thermonuclear holocaust. That's what the Bible says. All right? That's why you did Hey, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, no, come on, come on, wait. He's coming on one day on camera, man. Hey, hey, Do you agree with that? You are the cop. You agree with that? Yeah, yeah. He don't want to say that. He don't want to say that. Right. Yeah. 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 The devil, man. They got nothing to do with you. They don't want no poison. They said, like, motherfucker, he caught him with his wallet, and then he like, I was just coming down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, man. That's right. I would make it sure your wallet was in the same place. Exactly. Hey, soon as Mar said, and the brother said that, he got the hell on. See what right. Hey, because they're running from their destiny. That's, That's right. the book of Ezekiel, the 35th right. chapter. You know? All right. The Lord has prepared judgment for the so called white man. You mean to tell me all the atrocities and crimes this devil committed? And the Lord, somebody get that in Psalm 89. All the crimes this man committed, and the Lord being a just power going to let this nigga ride off in the sunset? Furthermore, to add insult to injury, this devil trying to hit the reset button yeah. and start his new world order, yeah. Yeah. going to a, a cashless society yeah. instead of these small cities, right? But the Lord says he's going to disappoint. Hey, you hear somebody say, man, I was disappointed in you. Yeah. That, that, yeah, you heard what he said about you? Yeah, I was disappointed. It, 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 you know what I mean? I, matter of fact, I, that's, I just heard that nigga Rick Ross. I was watching the old clip when he, he got exposed with being a security guard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, yeah, man, trick daddy. He said, he did. Man, I'm disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it brings a certain <laughs> vibration to the spirit. Oh, yeah. When you're disappointed, because why? You had an expectation. Somebody get that in Proverbs. And it's one of them wah, 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 right. wah moments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, wah, 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 yeah. That's what the Lord gonna do to the powers that be, the so-called white men. He's not gonna establish his new world order, man. Because according to the story, the Lord is gonna usher in a new system, the kingdom of heaven. There's gonna be a shock value to it. The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American gonna be in power. Right. That's about the scripture, uh, oh. Power. Oh. 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 That's it. Call the law, y'all. Call the law, y'all. Brothers called it. They called yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's five, five. Yeah, 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 it's like turtle yeah, 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 yeah. It had the actual number five floating in the air. Oh, where? What? Oh, where? Yeah, where? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. 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 Right The number five represents power. The numerology. You there, man? So in the show, hey, the Lord. Oh. Yeah, how about Shemel was silent? What he's doing right now, he's submitting that transition to power, but it comes with an element of a uh, 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 sock. It's a sock bag that comes with it. Because the Lord has said that these people, who is a symbol of being poor, weak, no power in our hands, right. that's going to be the next rule. That's why it's a heavy resistance that comes with this information right now. Right, come on, you guys know? Um, yeah, you know what, before we get that, get that real quick, then we'll go to Psalm 81. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous shall be glad. Right, and that's what we are. We are a symbol of hope. In fact, the scriptures refer to us as prisoners of hope. See, we hope that we will be liberated. That's, that's what the Lord reduced us to, hope. That takes away, yeah, that's right. That takes away you inserting your own strength building around your own merits or status. Which a lot of Israelites, they they, they, uh, they actually have that approach. That's why you see guys with, with, with uh, scrap, the scraps at camp. See, you, you're, not, you're not a prisoner of hope. All right, come on. He says, the hope of the righteous shall be glad, but the expectation of the wicked Woo. shall perish. See, the expectation of the wicked that goes into this man's plan. His, 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 um, yep, that's it. The wickedness that he has devised, the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna disappoint him. All right? Hey, that's heavy. Let's say somebody, they, they expect something, you're expecting a notice, a check. You're expecting a check. 
And is that you disappointed if it don't come? And scripture also speaks about the Lord turning away princes empty handed or something like that. <laughs> All right, come on, give me what you got real quick. Uh, Proverbs 89 and 14. So the Lord, right? You got a lot of people out there who claim to build their foundation off the Bible, the Holy Scripture, but they haven't been briefed on the true nature of the Lord. They think the Lord passes, man. But what you're going to find out, the Lord is all about justice, bro. Come on. Psalms 89 and 14, justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Right, which when you go into the word habitation, it takes you to the word base, basis. That's, that's the foundation. You know, someone might say the basis of my argument is this, right? That means this is what you stand upon. So the God of the Bible stands upon justice and judgment. So in understanding that, right, in that event, this would mean what? The so-called white man can't get off the hook. So you can't truly subscribe to the Bible, but then when it comes to the reality of things, you just shut it down. Now that's normal. So-called white man supposed to be over me. He's supposed to promote wickedness, and shed blood throughout the planet Earth. I just sit back and wait on my check. No, no, no. The Lord said justice and judgment is the habitation of his throne. That means that the devil is going to be brought up on those charges. Right, bro. Read that again. Huh? Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Yep. Mercy and truth shall go before thy faith. See that? So our expectation is for justice. Which really justice is submitted by judgment. That's how you establish justice, man. Hey, even the so-called white man do it. You know, you, you uh, commit a certain crime, then the justice is, is submitted by the judgment that he, he bring upon you. Whether it's in the form of something as subtle as probation to the extent of life without. That judgment establishes justice. So how much more with, with your how about to me outside, man? If Esau was to continue at this pace, that means it was, the Lord is not about justice. Come on. And it was it. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 5. Behold, the days come, says the Lord power, that are raised unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. yep. That's uh, Yahweh Shahnam. You know, he's going to lead the charge to bring about that judgment and justice. All right? Just going to tell you that what? Uh, the judgment is one of his questions. You know? It's the justice on the earth. You know? I believe mean, he's going to know it's going to uh, that it, uh, displease the Lord that there was no judgment. So right now, the Lord is uh, displeased right now. All right? Yeah, there's no, no judgment on the earth. And really, righteous judgment. You know? You got to make, you got to be specific. Okay? Because of the judgment that we speak of, the judgment of how about you know, God points to the Bible, man. You know? Right? And, and, uh, which is contrary to what these people believe, they're, they're form of justice. You know? You know, that, because whenever we bring up the topic concerning what happened to our people, all right? And that's no who justice being brought up now. These are those people that says that too. There's no justice, justice being called out, you know, reference paraphrase, you know? And, and that's how it is uh, concerning us, man. You know? But guess what? The lawyer, how about you is going to make sure that you be reminded that he's bringing about justice, all right, according to what Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has done to us, all right? And not only us, but but mainly Yahweh Shai, all right? Because Yahweh Shai is st still submitting his mind what happened to Yahweh Shai, man, all right? And Yahweh Shai still remembers even the one that pierced him. The scripture say that too, all right? That all eyes shall see, all right, even they which pierced him, man, okay? So yeah, the Lord's coming back with the judgment against the so-called white man, he saw him, man. All right? And also for the atrocities against these people in this side, man. All right? This book, please ask the Sirach, chapter 16, verse 11. And if there be one stiff neck yeah. among the people, it is marvel if he escape from fights. Right, man. So if there's one stiff neck among the people, it'd be a, a miracle, you know, a marvel that he escaped from. No. So I'll let you know that the Lord Yahweh Bashmasha is not gonna let this man escape, man. You know? He's not he's not gonna ride off into the sunset with a happy ending, man. No, it's gonna end it's gonna be ill with Esau, man. 
Yeah, Skip said that was really escape with the spoils. Yeah. 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 So the more you have about Shimon Shai, it's searching them out right now. You know, that's why you got camps throughout the uh, planet Earth, man. It's identifying the, uh, the thief. You know, identifying the future. Uh, putting a, a, a target on him, man. You know, and now he's been identified, man. Now he can't hide. Okay? And even though he tried to, uh, you know, bring down other channels, you know, uh, uh, downgrade this world, okay? But it's still being pushed out and it's still being shown to have cleared up. Okay? Oh, it just read earlier in 2 Thessalonians that wicked now is being revealed. Right. Okay? And the Lord right now is consumed with the spirit of his mouth, which is what? By the yeah. words being brought out, man. Okay. Hey, can I say yeah. to the brother? Uh, that's one of Esau's worst fears being revealed. That's uh, going back to Genesis the fourth chapter. Cain made the statement, um, "Whosoever shall find me shall slay him." That's why there's a heavy resistance against truth. Right there. It's Galatians chapter six and verse seven. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. Yeah, scripture said, "Be not deceived." Right? The see, deception is what being swayed off the path of the truth. So it says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. You can't just at the words of the most high. Right? You can't make fun of what the most high have written in his word through his prophets. Nobody can make fun of that. Go ahead, bro. It says, for whatsoever a man soweth. Yeah, so whatsoever a man soweth. And this man is pertaining to the man of sin. Right? It's what he have sown, man. Put up this rhetoric and, and place themselves in the footsteps of our Lord. And you know that the Bible speaks of. Go ahead, bro. It says. So you're going to get what you, you put out there, man, which is deception. Lies, rape, robbery, murder, mainly of our people. And like the brother said, contaminating the land, shed blood on the land. What is that, Water. Water. Yeah, yeah. Water, contaminated. Water and him. Yeah. You got a genetic and modified organ. Animals that the brink of extinction. Right. Animals are already classified as extinct under Esau's watch. So we ain't reaching right here, all right? This is accurate. This is an accurate uh, 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 assessment, you know? Come on. It says, that shall he also reap. Right. That shall he also reap. So what, what, what shall Esau reap, man? He's going to reap destruction. Right, right. Because that's really He's the son of, the scripture speaks about the son of perdition. And he is the son of, you went into it. He is the son of perdition. Perdition meaning destruction. His very being, right? That's why he was birthed. That's it. He's on the scene to be destroyed. That's why that's the vibration on the planet Earth. That's why it's normal to hear about talks of war and ICBM missiles and the threat of a third world's war, man. Because we're in the time of the son of perdition. Yep, come on. That was it. Uh, you got something? Uh, this is the book of uh, Sarah. Yeah. 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 It's 2 uh, Thessalonians chapter 2. Uh, uh, continue on in verse 9. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And lying wonders and signs. That's Esau, the so called white man. Uh, what did you just read from? Okay, yep, even when you read, I want to say, is there Revelation uh, 13 where it speaks about um, those, yeah. those wonders? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Wonder, yeah. He calls fire yep. for an yeah. example yeah. to fall from, yep, from heaven. What's that talking about? That's talking about his uh, yeah, miracle. That's, that's it. That's, that's a miracle. miracle. That's, that's it. talking about his uh, military presence. Case in point, Hiroshima, Nakazaki, he dropped the fat boy, the skinny boy. On those groups, that was an example of him causing fire to fall from heaven to the planet Earth. That's his miracle, his sign. This man, he can, he, 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 he uh, through that technology he have, he can, he can uh, cause a blind man to see. Man. And it goes back into them, uh, what, what that boy, the Tesla guy, uh, you know, uh, Neuralink. Yep, Neuralink. The right. Tony Stark, see, see, yeah, exactly. Modern day Tony Stark. That's that's gonna play into what the scripture says about what he's gonna do, man. Because this guy can take a paraplegic. This man ain't, ain't walked for 25 motherfucking years, and he take a chip and put it in his brain. 
all of a sudden this, this guy got, I mean, he may not be fluently like we doing it, but he was a paraplegic. He, now he can walk. Those are going to be them miracles, man. You know, uh, uh, this guy couldn't physically see. And you put a computer chip in his brain, now right. you you seeing, what is it, black and white, you seeing like a robot. Damn, oh, man. Data. 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 Data, that's it. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah, and even like having access to phones and yeah. being able to uh, chat and yeah. duo and FaceTime. Right. That's some of the miracles that you come to speak about. Proving that the Lord gave this man you know, a certain level of, of uh, power. Right. You know, which manifests with technology. Come on. Um, what was it on that? Right, go ahead. Fine. This is the book of. As a matter of fact, let's get this real quick. We go there. Come. Uh, make a second thoughts. That's lawyer chapter. It's two. about a whole cover of twenty six and twenty seven. What is that? What? Second thoughts. Lawyer chapter two, verse ten. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, right? All deceivableness of unrighteousness. Right? So called white man never came out once and told the people on his sign that they was an Israelite. That's enough. We ain't got to go no further than that. Deceivableness. What? And them that perish. And them that perish. Because for those of you Israelites who are not uh, uh, willing to yield to the report, then that means you're going to perish. But it goes back to your your um, loyalty, if you will, to Esau. That can be proven by reading uh, 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. If our gospel be hid, it is hidden to those who the God of this world have blinded the minds of them who believe not. Come on, that was it? All right, come on. This is the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 2, and verse 22. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. Right, so the Lord said the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. Go ahead. And the transgressions shall be rooted out of it. Right, and the transgressions shall be rooted out of it. Now why? Why did the Lord say that the wicked would be cut off? Because the Lord, that's justice. Because Esau tried to cut us off. Give me Psalm 83. Psalm 83. In verse started three, he said they have taken crafty counsel against our people. Right, that's what the so-called white man did. He took crafty counsel against us. He searched us out. Scripture said they're wiser than Daniel. What's that? Is it twenty-eight? Right, this nigga found out what causes your cholesterol to go through the roof. He found out that pork and these detestable food it, it actually uh, caused a. Uh, you know, a reaction from Israel. Right? Go ahead. They have taken crap and counsel against our people. Uh huh. They consulted against our enemies. Right, so they plotted against us. Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Yeah, that's the end goal. The so called white man is conspiring, as always conspiring, to cut us off from being a nation. So let's read back in Proverbs 2 again. Proverbs 2 and 22, but the wicked shall be cut off. See, so that's justice. This man went through all that to cut us off, right? Well, the Lord said, what? He's going to cut him off. What? He says, but the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgression shall be rooted out of it. Yeah, and the transgression shall be rooted out of it, all right? And that links up, if you're paying attention, to Malachi, the fourth chapter. The scripture say here, leave. Lord will leave neither root nor breath. And that's twofold. Because the root goes into your family, man. See, the Lord cutting off Esau, that snip, we go into that from time to time, that snip is the destruction. That line will be cut off by way of the destruction. That's going to be the starting point of it. That's why when you read, again, now I got a fourth chapter that says neither root nor branch. Now, when you go into that word branch, it's either root or branch, one of them. Uh, it goes into. Uh, in the family sense. All right? I think it might be root. So there's a reason, yeah. Yeah, there's a method to the destruction of America. It's going to contribute to the cutting off of Esau. So just like you devised the cutting off of Israel, you spent all that time, exhausted all that energy and resources and money, man, into keeping us dumbed down to who we were. Well, the Lord going to... Matter of fact, give me that Proverbs 26. Come on, this is Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 27. Whoso diggeth a pen shall fall therein. Uh -huh. And he that rolleth for stone, it will, it will return upon him. Right, so Esau, he dug a pit for us. He set a trap for us. He laid a snap for the children of Israel. Well, guess what? 
you don't fall in that same trap. This snare was wet, you just ready. It cut us off as a nation. So what the Lord gonna do, gonna cut you off, man. Gonna cut you devils off. And we went into that about uh, uh, the fear of so-called white men from his laws and legislation and whatnot. It's all stimulated by his fear of becoming extinct. That's actually we saw that down there, man. That shows how bad the scriptures is. He saw looking over his shoulder. He feel the presence of justice creeping up on him, man. And his fear, and you can look it up. His fear to a man with these devils is that they are not able to reproduce. Well, let's show you how bad the Lord is. The Lord cutting this man off. Hmm. Meanwhile, Jacob is in the muscle. That's a symbol of life. Right? Versus Esau, who's withering. You got that low, what they call it, low tail, low tail. That droop. Yeah. <laughs> you nigga can't have, yeah, Rick's out this much. He did. He did. He did. He did. That's that guy, man. That's that guy. You know the video about the man? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, don't all tell. Yeah. You got that hell breast on. There's no qualm for him. Yeah. And he's, he's, yeah, that's him. <laughs> that he had that welcome shirt on and he kept that rope. Yeah. Yeah. He said just like yeah. Yeah, come on. Uh, anything else? All right, come on. Uh, it's uh, Psalm chapter 62, verse 4. They only consult to cast him down mm -hmm. from his excellence. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse him with mm -hmm. It's a lot. What? Hey, because ultimately, he saw in these secret councils, right, he's devising ways to keep us in further derision. That's what it is. When scripture speaks about this man's inward thoughts, all right, uh, that's dealing with his head. When you consider the body, all bodies got a head, man. And the head dictates the way the body functions. So who the head of Esau? These higher ups. And what happens within your head? You reason, you think, plot, strategize. So in these secret meetings, they're planning to overthrow Israel. But it's not going to happen. You can't come up against your house by some outside, man. And the men that the Lord set up, right? Come on. That was it. All right, come on. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 18. Yep. The beginning of sorrow. So that's where we at. We're in the beginning of sorrow. And guess what? We're not trying to convey that to everybody. In fact, we don't give a damn. We don't want you to get it. Just like John said, who warned you to flee? Go ahead. And great mornings, the beginning of famine. And great death. Right, read that part again. Cut. The beginning of famine. See, the beginning of famine. Hey, no other text can make sense of what we read. Or so like it. the current events that's taking place on the planet Earth. No other text can connect. Uh hey read. <laughs> hey, read spirit demon. Yeah, the demon, yeah, the, the, this council, you can't you can't convince them of shit. Yeah, you got that other like, yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's the beginning of famine and, and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. Right, we're at the cusp, we're at the realms of uh, great wars, famine. Come on. The beginning of evils. The beginning of evils. That's where we're at. And the people, they don't have a clue. The average person, they don't know what... Uh, they're not even privy to the, the, the heavenly powers, Yahweh, White, Yahweh, South. They don't even know about that entity, man. They don't know that the Lord has released death angels and death angels hovering around. Come on, huh? What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right, and that should give you a glimpse into the sense of urgency that comes with being brief. Right? Ezra said, what shall I do, man? Because... He was given a vision of these times, and it was so bleak, man. So it, it, it provoked that reaction. What shall I do in that day? He didn't give a damn about it. Lord, what shall I do? Right? And that proves reincarnation, too. What he concerned about that time for? If he going to be in heaven. Well, that's Behold, famine and plague. There go again. Behold, famine and plague, man. So that's the time we're in. We're in the time 
of those scourges. With each scourge is equivalent to another prophecy of old. Go ahead, huh? Tribulation and anguish. Right, tribulation, which goes into trouble. That word anguish, anguish should jump out. That's a menacing word. What? Are sent as scourges. See, oh, as scourges. That's like a, a cloak. You know, with every whip. Come on. For a minute. For a minute. What? But for all these things. Yeah, but for all the, the plagues that the Lord has prepared as touching his visitation, for all those things, well, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Yeah, and that's going with our people. They're not going to turn. Why? Go ahead. Nor be always mindful. Be the mindful. Story. They're not mindful. When something happens to them, a tragic event, they're going to say, Jesus. That means they're not mindful of who really sent in the plague. <laughs> See, yeah. now, this is a, a wise counsel. Hey, when things, hey, we, we get judged, man. What's that, Jeremiah? I should not leave, yeah, altogether unpunished. So whenever certain things happen to us, we know we are mindful. Oh, that came from the how about you now, sir? What's going on? Lord, what should I do? Right. What is this teaching me? What should, should I, you know, lay off this or adjust that? You start to ponder, but that's being mindful. Right? Well, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth mm -hmm. that they shall think themselves to be in good And that shows you how cold the Lord is. Someone to set you up like that. He creates a false sense of security for you just so he can take you down. That's why the Lord said they think themselves to be in good case. That's also in, uh, is that Ecclesiastes uh, 5 and 7? Um, in that security. So the Lord lured you to speak. You get all humble to take you in there. The Lord put the world up under your ass. Go ahead. And even then, shall evil grow upon earth. And, and then, even in that, the evil gonna still grow. Hey, because when you think about it, right? It's not a time in our message where we're gonna say in our presentation that things gonna die down. We don't say that. We might say for we might say like you might hear talks of war. Right? And then it'll sound like it's going to uh, uh, intensify, but then it'll ease up. Because even Yahweh Shai said that the end is not yet. But we don't never tell you, yeah, man, it's going to get back to normal, though. This ain't going to be all right. No, eventually in the big picture, the, the wide range of scope, it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Now, that's why the scripture are uh, framing it as that woman in travail. Because that, that's a process that can't be reversed. Once the woman into the fifth month, she can't go into the third month. Spirit right there. Yeah, come on. Come on. It says, sword, famine, and great confusion. Right. See, sword, famine, and great confusion, man. All right? And that links up with perplexity in the book of Luke, the 21st chapter, which when you go into that word perplexity, it, it really opens you up to what's going on. Man. That means the people are not going to have answers. All right? You're not going to be able to explain away uh, uh, the reason why the fear is short or the food, supplies, your daily provisions. Come on. For many of them that dwell upon earth. Mm -hmm. And that's dealing with all of you people that have become acclimated to this system. When you dwell, that word dwell goes into one of the more eye-opening definitions is uh, one who hangs his hat. Let's show that you're comfortable. Get comfortable. Shit like that. You're gonna be running for your life in all hell, bro. Go ahead. It says, shall perish of famine. Right, you're gonna perish. And you see the thing now, that famine keeps being pushed. Because that's one of the Lord's uh, go to. That famine, hey, because it's according to, hey, you know, let's say like if you, you, uh, you fight in a certain box or whatever. The, on the sky report, he he he, he uh you know he, he easily to succumb to a jab. You gonna bring that out? Or you playing football? They got a weak secondary. So what you gonna do? You gonna open up the playbook? You gonna test the secondary? So the reason why famine is being emphasized because that's one of the pillars of America. You people love to eat, man. That's why it's called convenient food. Three times a day. Who ever heard? Lunch time. 
That's why the Lord gonna combat that. Oh, matter of fact, give me that. Revelation real quick. Revelation 18. So the Lord is brilliant. He's a tactician, a war tactician. This is strategic how the Lord going to uh, descend upon the mirror. It's going to be all a combat. You know how you have a counter? You counter someone in the ring on the football field. You got a counter. That's how the Lord is going to visit America. He's going to counter. That's why the scripture emphasized that mercy being turned to one. Revelation chapter 18. Oh, man. Chapter 18 itself, how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. Yeah, come on. So much torment and sorrow give her. Right, so America, right? America has pretty much established itself upon her lust, uh, uh, uh lure, right? Uh, 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 shine, luster, so to speak. But the Lord says he's going to combat that with what? It says, so much torment and sorrow give her. So yeah, that's how the Lord going to combat the folly of America with turmoil, miseries, calamities, misfortunes, man. Come on. For she said in her heart, uh -huh. I see the queen and have no widow. Right. Hey, because over, the overall vibration of America is not going to happen. They think that it, 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 it's a vibration here, man, where they feel as if they entitled and they better than the next, you know. And they completely at ease. Come on. And shall see no sorrow. Right, they shall see no sorrow. Come on. Therefore, shall her plays come in one day. So suddenly the Lord gonna bring the plays. Well. Death and mourning. Uh-huh. And famine. See, and famine. Well. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. That's the chronological order. Uh-huh. For strong is your how about some old shot that will judge of her. Right. See, the Lord has jurisdiction over Esau. So that's why uh, there's nothing you can do to turn back what the Lord has sanctioned or decreed. That's what we got some. It's uh, Amos chapter 5, verse 16. And therefore, the Lord, the power of the host, whoa, the Lord, your how about shall shot. And thus, I say it thus, wailing shall be in all streets. Right, wailing, wailing, okay? Just as him. He's going to go from <laughs> suckling. All right, <laughs> cackling or laughing and bullshit to wailing, man. What? Well, so, uh, I said, therefore, the Lord, you know about the power of hosts. Mm -hmm. The Lord saith thus. Right. Well, wailing, wailing shall be in all streets. Yeah, wailing. That, that's the phonetic form of music. Wailing, right? It's gonna be in all streets. It's not gonna be one. Uh, uh, place where it's refuge. No. The Lord is going to penetrate every nook and cranny of America. Come on. It says, And they shall say in all the highways, uh -huh. Alas, alas. And they shall call the husband in the morning. And such as are skillful of lamentation. And that's, and that's you, you nigga women, man. It's like, you skillful in lamentation. When they show you that in that, uh, that don't be a bit. When you get shot at the beginning, the mama come out there, no, my baby, my baby. And she said, this is like, this is like <laughs> Yeah, because Jake, our women, they dramatize go up in the spirit on them. For the fourth, man. For the fourth. Yeah, yeah. 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 It says, yeah. and are skillful of lamentations and wailing, and in all vineyards shall be wailing. I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Right, the Lord gonna visit you, man. Yeah, is it on it? Okay. Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And to what end is it for you? Right, because you have a lot of Christians and a lot of you people out there, even among Israel. You desire the day of the Lord, but there's certain just to cut it, cut to the chase, only the elect gonna be delivered, man. See that? Go ahead. The day of the Lord is darkness mm -hmm. and not light. Right. Hey, that's going to that's gonna be on, on all levels. Because there's going to be a power out of Zion too, man. All right, so come on. 
Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. Right, many. So the masses of the people are going to perish of famine, man, for the most part. A lot of you people, and that's going to really happen over here in America, man. Because everybody is, uh, you know, tapped into DoorDash or Five for Five, Wendy's. Right? You even see homeless niggas walking down the block with fries and shit. Well, and the other that escape the hunger. Right, and for those who escape the hunger, go ahead. shall the sword destroy. Yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna really be a domino effect because if you do got food, you're gonna have people that's gonna invade you and take your food. So if you do have resources, right, provisions, Lord gonna have people that invade you, kick in your door. They're not gonna. Um, they're not gonna respect your boundaries, your house. They're gonna kick in the door, man, for the lack of bread and food and resources. All right, yeah, come on. It says, okay. Okay. Cut. Cut. Yeah, cut. It says, and the dead shall be cast out as dumb. Right, there's gonna be a time where you're gonna see dead bodies. People are not gonna look, pick up dead bodies. Well, it says, as there shall be no man to comfort them, mm -hmm. bury them. Well, for the earth shall be wasted, and the town, excuse me, and the cities shall be cast yeah, down. You're not going to have sanitary trucks and garbage men, you know. Go ahead. I'm going to jump down to uh, verse 68. It says, So I can behold. For behold, the burning wrath of a of a great multitude right. is killed over you. Right, and that's going to be the state of the so-called white man. Eventually, the Lord is going to spark that, that, that anger, that hatred. Yep, the Lord is going to pretty much rekindle that age-old hatred that's been lying dormant in Esau. And it's going to be manifest in the form of that wrath. But it also goes into uh, uh, Revelation to a temple. You should come down with great wrath. And they shall take away certain of you, and be you being idle with things offered unto idols. Right. And mainly in this perfection, that's going to be that thing time. Go ahead. And they that consent unto them, right. Those who consent, go ahead. shall be had in derision. Uh huh. And then reproach uh -huh. and trodden underfoot. And trodden underfoot. If the rest leave out, so they shall be trodden by the Gentiles. That that uh decree spills over even to now. So for those who consent to Esau, eventually you're gonna be had in derision. You're gonna be trodden underfoot. And how do you consent? By searching and seeking out uh luxuries and the pleasure this of this world. Over the ordinance of your how about smell shot. I uh, remember Moses, he, he chose to suffer with his people, yep. then receive the pleasures. Yep. That's gonna that's that moment gonna be uh perfected when that thing is presented. You're gonna be given a choice. Are you gonna suffer with your people, the men that are old and fat, or you gonna decide on the side mm, consent with he saw? Well, it says, for there shall be in every place and in the next city. Right, here in America, go ahead. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Right, those who fear the Lord. Really, that's talking about all the Israelites. But, but ultimately, those who fear the Lord is the elect. Go ahead. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yep, go ahead. It says... For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Right, and cast them out of your houses. Yeah. What? Then shall be known who are my chosen. Right, because the Lord is going to step in and he's going to preserve as promised. Right, as he let. Well, And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Right, and that links up with 1 Corinthians the third chapter. For the day shall declare. Every man's work is going to be tested, man. Well, it says here, oh ye my beloved, say, here the, the beloved, all right? 
To hear means to understand what's being said. Yeah. Go ahead. Say of the Lord, mm -hmm. behold, the days of trouble are at hand. See that? That's the time we're in. Go ahead. But I will deliver you from the same. But I will deliver you from the same. So that's that's what comforts us. Hey, because nobody got a plan. I want to hear your plan. What's your plan? What's, that, that, you know, that's uh, something that's insane. Right there. I love to hear the plans. What's your plan? Yeah. <laughs> I love to hear it, man. What's your plan out there? It's not gonna work, bro. All right, your only way is there's two ways out. You, you gonna trust the Esau? Matter of fact, they end on that. This is no longer. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the only. That's what the law is gonna narrow down to that, that proverbial fork in the road. You are gonna have a choice between your how about some outside, which the heavenly Father's uh, uh, entry point is your how about That's the door. Either you're going to come in right there, or you're going to make each other your well. Come on. God. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day. Let, the yep, remnant, let, let you know it's talking about the prophecy. It shall come to pass in that day. Go ahead. Let the remnant, let the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, Said no more again. Stay upon him. They smoked him. Who smote us? Esau. And his continual struggle of oppression. Right? You just you pick. Uh, you pick one. This man oppressed you on all sides. But the scriptures say the remnant would no longer stay upon him or put their trust in the very one who oppressed us. Where? What? Shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Yeah, in truth. You know what's heavy about that? That's going to ask the grow into a point and it's going to be when the Quran goes because right now yeah we choosing the Lord but it don't stop right now it's going to build up to a certain point